Palestinians with loved ones in Mexico continue to try and make contact with family members. Others are searching for ways to help all of those in need. For that, we bring in CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark live in Birmingham. And Michael, what's being done here? Well, Jim, some of the Hispanic church leaders I spoke with today are still trying to get organized and plan to try to get uh, tr a handle on what to get together later on this week. Meanwhile, some small grocery stores in the area are already doing what they can to help. And for people who have lived in Mexico or have loved ones still there, the images coming in from this earthquake are so difficult to stomach. It has been a chaos. Scrolling through pictures of rubble not far from his hometown. And everybody's just sharing on, on Facebook. This is how Cesar Mata gets updates from his family in Mexico City. We've been so worried about uh, our families because we were not being able to communicate, make phone calls. Through social media, Mata's loved ones share photos and stories of volunteers digging through crumbled school buildings, desperately searching for the children who were inside. When everybody's lifting the hands, that means silence because somebody hears so somebody screaming inside the building. Similar images play out on TV at Garcia's Grill, where many customers are from Mexico. People come see him, they're sitting for lunch, they're watching the news. Maria Gregual has family near Mexico City. One of my aunts just told me, was like, you just don't understand, you know, people, people is buried, uh, they're trying to get them out. She shared these photos of them trying to help neighbors in need this week. Last time I talked to her, she said, right now what I'm doing, I'm making tortas for everybody, I'm making about 200 tortas, I'm going out, I'm giving it to the people, to the rescue, uh, the rescue teams. For now, Greg Wall's shop and El Charo in Center Point both have modest donation boxes, knowing every little bit goes a long way. A dollar, two dollars, three dollars, when we put it all together, it'll, it'll be a great help. It's just heartbreaking. I, I, I wouldn't imagine to see my kids going through that. Now, as communication in Mexico improves in the days ahead, we should start to get a better feel for what the most immediate needs are and what local organizations are doing to help. Of course, we'll keep you posted on our CBS 42 News app. Reporting live in Birmingham tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News local coverage you can count on.